and welcome to Rune Factory 5, where I think we may want to go and take a bath before we go into the Rick Bath Maze. Let's go see if Murakumo is at his desk. Our dragon can't come and take a bath with us, sadly. Yo! But uh, the rest of the party can enjoy a nice soak. juice. Very nice. Okay, time to see how far we can make it. Also, I guess I might want to use a weapon um, that I have like a high skill level in. So, rather than the fist weapon, maybe like the Chaos Blade. Because, uh, this time I'm for reals attempting to get to the Orichalcum. Lucas and um, Priscilla are already down. I'm very grateful. All right. Dragon scale, nice. Let's go do this. Take that. All right. Take that. Take that. All right. Okay. That went pretty nicely. So it's this way next. So the thing I read about the Rigbot maze is that it doesn't actually have like um, teleport points. Every level. So, what I mean by that is, dungeons in this game normally allow you to teleport, like, um, to, um, to the level that you've um, been on previously. So, um, if you get to level 2 of a dungeon, you can teleport straight there the next time you visit the dungeon. But uh, here, in the Rickbath maze, we only have such teleport points every five levels, I think. At least that's what the internet says. So... That means that we would need to get to level 5 um, to get the next kind of teleport point so that um, the next time we come here we wouldn't need to start from level 1 again. Yeah, 
Or is it level 6 if it's like every 5 levels and uh, this is level fun, level 1? Um, I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah. I don't know how well that kind of uh, structure lends itself to Let's Play videos. Because obviously it is going to take a while to fight through each level. So, um... I don't know if I'll be, um... Doing very much here in the Rickbath maze. Just because it's... As I said, it's going to take a while to fight through each level and um, we'd have to get to like level 5 or level 6 to get like um, a teleport point. So the sort of teleport point that we can uh, teleport to from outside of the dungeon. How was that? Thank goodness. So yeah. How I um, I don't know how many levels of the Rick Bath maze we will be completing in this let's play. And just because um because of the way that it has been uh, structured and I totally forgot that um, I told our dragon to stand still. Uh, you can totally participate in the fighting. Thank goodness. Yes. So yeah. All right. I will at least be getting the Orichalcum from here. Um, but um, that I can get from the first right. level. But it is a bit disappointing that the structure is like that, that you have to complete five levels before you get like um, a save point or, or like a, the sort of a teleport point that is going to stay open for you between visits to the maze. Because obviously uh, completing five levels is going to make a very long video. Of course, I can, um, I can, and like, uh, divide it into several videos. We'll see. Maybe it would be feasible to, uh, divide it into, like, a, a couple of videos. Maybe, like, three videos so that I'd complete two levels per video or something. We'll see. I guess I could do it. It's nice. just that, um, nice. as a person, I am much more into the art events and stories than into the fighting. So, that's another reason why I may not venture very deep into the Rickbath maze. 
just yeah. deep enough to get the oricalcum. But yeah, if I wanted to get to the next, like, uh, teleport point, to the next point in this dungeon that I can teleport to, like, um, from outside of the dungeon, I could, like, uh, divide that dungeon run into a few videos, as I said, completing like a, a couple of levels per video. I apologize for the trouble. Yeah. We will see. interested in crafting different kinds of equipment and and uh, brewing potions and seeing the different kinds of enemies or monsters that we have in the game so I am curious in that way as to um, what we'll eventually find on the other levels of the right. of this rig bath maze. All right. So I don't know. Maybe I will end up going at least some ways into the maze here. Not in this video, obviously. In this video, I just want to get to where the oricalcum is. And like, uh, that's my goal. But, another time. In the future, one of these days, I might try to get five levels deep into the maze. So that I can reach the place where we have the next, uh, teleport point. We'll see. More of those, were they sorcerers? I think they were. Yeah, sorcerers. Ouch. Uh, that hurt. Thank you. Well, as we drop some of these sorcerers and uh, make the number of sorcerers smaller, it's going to hurt less, I think. So let's continue doing this. There's the portal. I'm very grateful. Oh. Our dragon is down. How was that? Thank goodness. Take that, take that. This cannot be. I apologize for the trouble. There we go. Didn't reach the dragon though. No, because it's all the way over there. Maybe I could sometimes, like, take an entire in-game day to try and get five levels deep into this maze to unlock the next yes! teleport yeah. point. Oops. Oh? Uh, I meant to give you the... the paralysis cure. Potion.
Unfortunately, I don't have any potions on me that would cure seal. At least, I don't think I do. Six orichalcum. That's pretty good. But I do want to get further in. Also, I'm going to give one of these to our dragon. That helped a lot. Alright, I think I want to eat something. Yes! Just um, replenish my RP. There's a little bit left to go. Maybe we could see if we can complete level 1 in this video. I know it's not. Like, um, it doesn't have any, um, any benefits in terms of, um, of future runs. Or maybe it does. We'll be more prepared. I will know which kinds of monsters to expect. And uh, which kinds of battles to expect. So in that way, it will be useful for future runs. And of course we'll get experience. Get relaps. That'll be useful for future runs as well. So yeah, maybe we will see if we can get to the end of level 1. Is there a portal here that is spawning those guys? Did we already destroy it? Because I'm not seeing one. There is no portal. We just have to um, deal with this dragon here. I have to say, having a dragon of our own here is very helpful. Well, obviously the dragon isn't very helpful against the other dragons. But against everything else? Super nice. Nice. All right. More dragon scales. Let's get the orichalcum from here, and then we'll go see about that room. That we have yet to uh, investigate here. Just in case something terrible happens in that room, we'll at yes. least have got right. plenty of orichalcum, and that'll make it worth the uh, hospital bill. The hospital bills in this game are something else. Like, they are no joke. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think the uh, insects, whatever they were called, had a one-hit KO attack or something. Uh, King Bee. Is this a new creature? I think 
It may be. I don't think we've encountered any of these outside of the maze. But yeah, I am kind of warming up to the idea of um, every now and then trying to get five levels deeper into the maze and then dividing that uh, Rick Bath maze run into like several videos. I could do that. Just, um, maybe not in the very near future, but, um, one of these days. Alright! Yes! I'm, very I'm going to need a Paragon potion as well. It's good to keep a stack of these and the um, anti-venom potions as well on hand. I guess that was that. Let's go see what else we have over uh, this way. Is that just a mining room? Yes, it is. And also replenishes our RP. I'm guessing kind of a for the next level of this dungeon. I'm still going to bring RP replenishing food here during uh, future nice. runs as well right. and um, especially during those runs when nice. I try to get right. five levels deeper <laughs> just so I won't have to rely on <laughs> these alone all right and also I think I'm going to have to see about the effects of the various potions I can create and see which of them removes seal. Let's take just a little peek into this second level here. Uh-huh. All right. Hey, there's more oricalcum. Don't mind if I do. is the point where we're going to go home. It is after midnight. Shop, thank you for all the help. Oh? Lucas as well, go and have some sleep. And Priscilla too. Long day, huh? And uh, we'll teleport to over here. 
because we need to put stuff away from our inventory. And then we'll see about using the rest of the RP that we have left on uh, making us some new weapons. Because I seem to recall that Oricalcum was all we were missing from quite a few weapon recipes. So now that we have some Oricalcum, we can probably make a few new weapons. We also got some pretty carapaces. I think those do count as like cloths and skins. Uh, where did the dragon scales go? I forgot to check if we have, we haven't shipped these. I kind of want to save the level 10 one. Let's just ship the level 1. And uh, there we go. What level are our carrots? Are they level 6? Just in case, we'll ship that too. In case it's higher level than our carrots are. Alright, let's see what we can make. Spring sword. We'll have to use a diamond. Surely... We have other sticks and stems because I think, oh yeah, we'll use plant stems for this. I think the lands recipe, oh, and obviously we'll want to wear the scarf. Yeah, I think we can make a better lands. For Lucas, if we save the thick stick for that. Yeah, that's our last diamond. But we got a pretty nice sword. Alright. Long swords. I think I wanted to make the Spring Buster sword. Need a diamond. The Shine Blade wouldn't be bad either, but it's an elemental weapon. Winter Gloves. Very nice. Can deal incredible damage in winter. So, hmm. Does that mean that it has even better uh, damage dealing capabilities than that during winter? Or does that mean that it doesn't work during any other season than winter? Well, I guess we'll use those gloves in battle and find out. Pick up 
because uh, the attack score that those gloves have already looks pretty spectacular to me even though it's not winter currently so if it gets some sort of a bonus in winter cool we'll see what exactly the gimmick is at some point when we try them out in battle I'm hoping that the attributes that are shown on the gloves are the ones that they currently have and that they just get some sort of a bonus during winter rather than some sort of a nerf during other seasons but um we'll find out and in the next episode we'll move on to the next day and we'll get to see if if we'll get to continue the event between Terry and Cecil hopefully we will for now though thank you so much for spending time with me here on the mellow it was lovely to have you I'd like it if you'd leave me a like and if you're not already subscribed then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos remember to be kind to yourself have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.